Welcome back, learners. Thank you for joining us for Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia. I'm a second grade teacher at the Soulard School. And here for Teaching in Room 9, my lessons focus on letters and sounds. Welcome back, readers. It is so good to get the chance to be here with you today. I hope you're having a really great start to your day. And I'm excited that we get to do some learning here together. As always, we love to see our learners following along at home. So if you'd like, feel free to have your grown up take a picture or a video of you following along and post it online and hashtag 9PBS. All right, let's go ahead and get started here together. We're gonna start with our mindful moment exercise. This will help get our bodies and our brains ready to learn here together. We're going to do that by taking a few deep breaths. And this time, we're going to be making our best soup breaths to help get our bodies ready to learn. This will help focus our brains only on our breathing and allow us to be really present in the moment. Now that it is fall, my very favorite time of year, I thought that we could do some soup breathing here together. So what I want you to do is I want you to warm up your brain. Go ahead and tickle your brain. And think about your very favorite soup. Is it a chicken noodle soup? Maybe it's a tomato soup with grilled cheese. Or maybe it's a broccoli cheddar soup. So get that soup in your mind. And we are going to be taking our deep breath in through our nose. And you'll get to smell all the delicious flavors in your soup. And then as we breathe out, we're gonna slowly blow on our soup so that way we can cool it off. But don't blow too fast because you don't wanna splash the hot soup on your skin. And we'll take three soup breaths here together. All right, are you ready to go ahead and try? Do you have a soup in your mind that you're ready to blow on? All right, get your soup ready to go. Take a deep breath in through your nose and smell all the yummy flavors. And slowly breathe out to cool your soup down. Very good. Take another deep breath in through your nose. And smell all the yummy flavors and breathe out through your mouth. To cool your soup down. Last one, take another deep breath in through your nose. Smell all the yummy goodness and breathe out through your mouth. To cool your soup down. Very good job, friends. Now your soup is ready to eat. Go ahead and take a spoonful. Does it taste pretty yummy? <laughs> My soup does too. All right, now that we are ready to learn here together, let's take a minute to talk about getting ready to learn at school. We want to give ourselves all the right tools to be able to learn our best. So far here together, we talked about being in a smart spot that's away from any distractions that might take away from our learning. Go ahead and check in with your body. Are you in a smart spot now? Then we talked about body basics or whole body listening. This is what our bodies look like and what our bodies should be doing when it's time to listen and learn. And we did this by practicing a mirrors on activity. Would you like to go ahead and practice it together with me? All right, so just a refresher when I say mirrors on. You're gonna follow along with everything I say and do until I say, mirrors off. Are you ready? Mirrors on. I think we can do better. Let's try that again. Mirrors on. Very good. I can listen with my whole body. My eyes are on the speaker. My ears are listening. My mouth is quiet. My heart is ready and my body is calm. Mirrors off. Amazing job, friends. This is what our body 
should be doing when we are seated in a chair at the carpet for circle time. In a line ready to leave the classroom, when we are learning here together at home or learning at school, or any time your teacher is asking for you to listen or maybe about to give a direction. Whole body listening might look a little bit different for each person, depending on what their bodies and their brains need. But it is important to show the speaker who is talking that we want to hear their words so that it makes them feel respected and cared for. So we also started talking about some problem solving solutions. So we're gonna start by reviewing the ones that we've talked about here together and then learn some new ones together today. Sometimes when we're learning at school, we might have some really big feelings and that might make it hard for us and we might accidentally get into an argument with a friend or a peer. That is okay and totally normal. But we want to have the right tools that we can work through any issues we might have in a way that's safe and respectful for all. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And this way we can review the ones we've talked about and um, review our new ones here together today. So here's our problem solving solutions. The first one we learned here together was ask. You can see in the picture here, it looks like a friend has all of the toys. So it would be important for this friend here to maybe take a moment to use his words and ask his friend for a turn with one of the animals. Okay, this one was take turns. When we're playing a game together, or sharing classroom materials, it's important to take turns so that it's fair for everyone. The next one was walk away. This is an important one. If we are having some really big feelings, we might want to walk away to give us the space our body needs to calm down safely. Or if another friend is maybe needing some space to work through those feelings, we might wanna walk away from them so that we are giving them the safe and respectful space they need to work through those feelings. This one is say, please stop. It's important to use our words to say, please stop in a kind and respectful way. Then if the friend is still doing what you do not like, then we can find an adult to help us out. Ignore. If we see a friend making a choice that is maybe not safe or is not helpful for their learning, then we might just want to ignore the behavior and give them the space they need. Apologize. Saying I'm sorry can be so helpful to a situation. Even if you didn't mean to hurt a friend's feelings by saying, I'm sorry, it shows that we care that we hurt their feelings, even if we didn't mean to. Say how you feel. This is an important one to be able to say how you are feeling to a friend at school. It's important to name the feelings, but not and the behavior, but not the person. Because good people can maybe make not a strong choice in that moment. So it's important to say, I feel sad when you do this. I feel angry that you said this to me. These are examples of ways we can say how we feel and name the emotion and the behavior. Wait. This one is so hard. It's hard even for adults, but sometimes we just have to wait patiently and understand that the teachers and the adults in the room are doing their best and they'll come to you as soon as they can. And last but not least, get help. So if again, we have used our words to tell our friends how we are feeling. And we said, please stop, or I don't like it when you do this. And the friend is still doing that same behavior. 
then it would be time to go and get help from an adult because that's what you're here for. We're here to make sure that you are staying safe and that everyone is feeling like things are fair and respectful for everyone at school. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Amazing job, friends. And then after we had talked about some of these problem solving solutions, I also gave you some affirmations. These are positive words that you can say to yourself. You can start the day by saying them to yourself in your mind. You can say them to yourself if you are having some really big feelings that day and working through those emotions. Or if you just want to start your day by having a positive um, thought in your mind. I like to start my day with positive affirmations with my students. So go ahead and repeat after me, friends, really nice and loud. Are you ready? All right. I can be anything I want to be. I am an important person in this world. I can dream dreams and make them come true. Every new day is a chance to improve. I can learn from my mistakes. I can take risks and do hard things. I can learn from others and they can learn from me. I can make smart choices. I control the good that happens to me. Very good, friends. I'm so proud of you. You can always do anything you set your mind to, and you are in control of your own body and the way you react to certain situations. You are amazing, and I'm so proud of you. All right. Now that we've prepared our bodies, our brains, and our hearts to learn, and we reviewed some tools to help us be successful when we're learning in school, now we're ready to learn. As I mentioned, we're here to talk about letters and sounds. We have practiced working our way through the alphabet, learning and practicing all our letter sounds. Now that we feel a little bit more comfortable with our letter sounds, today our learning goal is to be able to listen to a word and pick out just the beginning sound. So our learning goal or objective today is I can. Can you repeat after me really loud? All right, let me hear it. I can know the beginning sound in a word. Very good job, readers. All right, so let's go ahead and start by tickling those brains, get them nice and warmed up and review some of the things we've talked about together so far. The first thing we talked about was the difference between letters, words, and sentences. And we did a song that went along with it. Letters make sounds and come together to make words. Very good. Words are made up of letters and sounds. They come together to make a word. Words have meaning and they then come together to form sentences that we can read or write. Very good, friends. And then we've also reviewed together parts of a book. Can you say that? Parts of a book. Very good. And here is our friend who is a reader and she has a book in her hands. In our books, we have a front cover a back cover and a spine, just like we have a spine. Our spine keeps us standing up nice and straight and tall. And then the spine of a book keeps the front back cover and pages all together and standing up nice and straight and tall too. Then on the front cover, you'll find the title, the name of the book, the author who wrote the book, the illustrator who drew all the wonderful pictures. And then inside you'll have the pages. And on those pages, you have all those wonderful thoughts that came from the author's mind. These will be the sentences. And in the sentences, we have our words. Our words have letters. Our sentences have meaning. 
and they'll either tell a story or teach us facts. All right, amazing job, friends. Let's go ahead and start by reviewing some of our letter sounds here together, and then we'll practice some songs to um, practice picking out just the beginning letter sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna hold up our letter cards and we'll sing all the different sounds the letters have. And some letters make more than one sound. Let's see if you can remember all our letter sounds. Are you ready? Okay. The A says A, 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 and A says A, 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 A. Good. The B says B, 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 B. And C says K, 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 K. And it says S, 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 S. Very good. The D says D, 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 D. And E says a, 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 and it says e e e e e. <laughs> the F says and G says g g g g g and it says j j j j j. The H says and I says it, 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 and it says I, 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 I. The J says J, 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 and K says K, 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 and L says O, 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 O. You're doing a really good job. The M says mm, 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 and N says mm, 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 mm. and O says ah, 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 and O and O. Very good. The P says p, 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 p. and Q says qua, 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 and R says er, 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 er. The S says s. And T says t, 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 and U says uh, 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 and it says ooh. Almost there. The V says mm, 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 mm. and W says wah, 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 and X says x, 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 x. and Y says yah. Last one, the Z says Very good learners. And I think we talked before a little bit about how Y makes lots of different sounds. So we said it says ya, 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 ya. It also says I and E and I. Makes a lot of different sounds. Amazing job, friends. I can tell. You have been really practicing those letter sounds. Hopefully that was a review for your brain and you felt pretty comfortable with a lot of those letter sounds that we practiced here together. All right, now we are going to sing a really silly song. And then maybe you've sung this song together um, before. It's called Willoughby Wallaby Woo. Give me a yes or me too if you've ever sung this song before. Amazing, me too, I like this one, it's really silly. So each time we um, will take a name and we're gonna switch out the first sound to make the wuh, wuh sound. Do you remember which letter makes the wuh sound? Shout it out for me, friends. Yeah, the W says wuh, wuh, wuh. Very good. All right, are you ready? I'm just gonna sing a couple of names that I can think of and maybe I'll even sing your name. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, an elephant sat on you. Willoughby Wallaby Wee, an elephant sat on me. Willoughby Wallaby Woolia, an elephant sat on Julia. Willoughby Wallaby Wabram, an elephant sat on Abram. Willoughby Wallaby Walma, an elephant sat on Alma. Willoughby Wallaby Ways, an elephant sat on Blaze. Willoughby Wallaby Wante, 
an elephant sat on Dante. Willoughby Wallaby Wemma, an elephant sat on Emma. Willoughby Wallaby Wavier, an elephant sat on Javier. Willoughby Wallaby Why, an elephant sat on Kai. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, an elephant sat on you. Willoughby Wallaby We, an elephant sat on me. Yay, that was amazing, friends. I love that song, it's so silly. So you heard in the song how I took my name, starts with the J, J, J in Julia. And I took out the J, the first sound, and instead I put in a W, W, W to change my name from Julia to Wulia. <laughs> Amazing job, friends. Give me a me too if you heard your name. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna do another song for us in order to practice some of our letter sounds here. So this time we're gonna sing the song, Apples and Bananas. Give me a me too if you've sung apples and bananas before. Amazing, I love this one too, it's so silly. And this time we're gonna practice working with that um, initial sound, the beginning sounds again. And we're gonna be switching out those vowel sounds. And again, vowels, are really super special, important letters. They have a really important job. They make more than one sound. And vowels are found in every word. Okay, so we're gonna practice some of our vowel sounds, A-E-I-O-U, in our song, Apples and Bananas. Are you ready? Try singing along with me if you can. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Switch it out now for A. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now switch it out for E. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Switch it out for I. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now switch it out for all. I like to oat, oat, oat apples and bananas. I like to oat, oat. Oat, opals, and bananas. Last one, we're gonna switch it out for the U, the OO sound. I like to oot, 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 opals, and bananas. I like to oot, 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 opals, and bananas. <laughs> Yay, that was amazing, friends. I love that song, it's so silly. And it's a great way for us to practice switching out that initial or beginning vowel sounds. All right, learners, you are incredible. I'm really proud of you. Go ahead and kiss your brain. That was amazing. I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna spend the rest of our time here practicing, figuring out what our initial sound is in each card here. So in our firefly jars, you'll see a cute little firefly. And then next to it, we'll find our picture and you have to tell me which of these three letters does this word start with? So what is this a picture of, friends? Shout it out for me. Yeah, it's a guitar. What sound does guitar start with? Make it for me, I wanna hear it. Yeah, g, g, g. Which of these letters makes the g, g sound? Wow, I heard some learners say the letter G. Very good. It's not guitar or guitar. It's guitar with the letter G. Amazing. Okay, let's do another one. Hey, what do you see a picture of here, learners? Oh, very good. You're right. It is a horn. A horn. What sound comes in the beginning of the letter? Horn, or I'm sorry, the word horn. 
horn. Which one is it here? Which letter? Yeah, you're right. The letter H. H says and horn starts with the sound. Horn, horn, very good. Let's do another one. What picture do you see here, learners? You're right, it's a fish, a fish. What sound comes in the beginning of the word fish? Yeah, it makes the sound. What letter makes the sound? Which one is it? You're right, learners. The letter F makes the sound. Ish, fish. Very good. What do you see here, learners? Yeah, you're right. It's an elephant. Elephants are my very favorite animal. Give me me too if you like elephants. Amazing elephant. What sound comes in the beginning of eh, eh, elephant? Yeah, that eh, eh sound. And which letter makes the eh, eh sound here? You're right. E says eh, eh, eh. Eh, elephant. Elephant, very good. And what do you see in this firefly jar, friends? Well, you're right. Yes, I heard some friends say a spaceship, spaceship, but I don't see a sound here. What might it be? Yeah, maybe instead a rocket. What sound comes in the beginning of rocket? You're right, the er sound. And which letter says er? R, very good. Let's do one more together, friends. What do you see here? Yeah, it's a super cute smiling sun. Very good. And what letter comes in the beginning of sun? Good. The sound comes from the letter S in the beginning of sun. Sun, sun. Amazing job, friends. I'll stop sharing my screen. You did a fantastic job with us here today. We reviewed all the letters and sounds we've learned here together and then practice focusing on just that beginning sound. You are so incredible. I'm really proud of you. Thank you for your hard work and I'll see you next time. Bye. possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.